Many of my former comrades are either dead or in prison. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most effective, iconic, or infamous secret intelligence agencies around the globe. We'll examine their histories and evaluate their impact on national or international events, whether positively or very, very negatively. Authorities use artificial intelligence that can alert them if someone in a video is walking too fast or parked in the wrong spot. Number 10, National Intelligence Service, NIS, South Korea. Some legal experts say the spy agency should not be in charge of both the procedure and management. Formed in 1961 as the Korean Central Intelligence Agency, the intelligence agency has found itself being reformed several times due to abuse of power. In 1979, after a load of kidnappings, the group's director, Kim Jae-gyu, assassinated President Park Chung-hee. In 1999, the group was officially renamed the National Intelligence Service. The NIS has three directorates. Two of them are standard with national and international affairs. The last is specifically for North Korea, with collecting information and preventing possible attacks. While the NIS has had its power reined in, this didn't stop the organization from manipulating the election results in 2012 to secure the term for Park Geun-hye. Further reforms in 2020 prevented this scenario from happening again. Last month, Park issued a public apology. Che Sun-sil 씨는 과거 제가 어려움을 겪을 때 도와준 인연으로 Number 9, Federal Intelligence Service, BND, Germany. But the BND is full of praise for its transparent new headquarters in the heart of Berlin. Also known as the Bundesnachrichtendienst, the BND was formed in the ashes of the Gielen Organization in 1956 in West Germany in association with the CIA. The BND was used extensively during the Cold War to help the U.S. with information gathering around the Eastern Bloc. Similarly to the U.S.'s Operation Paperclip, the group also hired former Nazis in the early days. Today, the BND protects German interests from foreign threats by specializing in surveillance and wiretapping for military and civilian targets. Germany's Federal Intelligence Agency, which is building a new headquarters in Berlin, is reported to have helped an American secret agency gather data. In recent years, the BND seemed to be an easy target for Russian espionage, who conducted missions in Germany and stole information from the organization. However, the group has been cracking down on this by arresting various moles for treason. Number 8, Directorate General for External Security, DGSE, France. The French intelligence realized that something was going on, and this man was very important. He was the head of uh, the intelligent French Intelligence Bureau in Beijing. Under the direction of the French Ministry of Armed Forces, the Directorate General for External Security is the foreign intelligence branch of the security services. While the General Directorate for Internal Security deals with domestic issues, formed in 1982, the DGSE took over for the SDECE, which was heavily criticized for its role in the disappearance of Moroccan politician Mehdi Ben Barka in 1965. On top of surveillance, the DGSE has also conducted missions abroad. In the 1990s, an operative known as Omar Nasiri infiltrated extremist training camps in Afghanistan to collect information. In 2020, it was found that the DGSE had been targeted by China as the country made deals with retired agents who were later arrested. Of course, it is uh, problematic or it's, it's not an, uh, an easy case for the French intelligence community. Number 7. Australian Secret Intelligence Service, ASIS, Australia. There are many, many countries that don't respect the type of checks and balances that we have in our system, and so there is a competition underway. In 1952, the Australian Secret Intelligence Service was formed to collect intelligence from sources abroad, while the Australian Security Intelligence Organization focuses on domestic issues. Amazingly, ASIS's existence was a secret until 1972, when an expose by a newspaper alerted the public. In recent years, the group has been heavily praised by the intelligence world. In 2001, that legislation came into effect. ASIS became a statutory body overseen by the minister and a parliamentary committee. One area of success is the anti-people smuggling operations it has arranged in several countries. However, not everything has been good. ASIS was found to have been covertly aiding the U.S. in overthrowing the democratically elected Chile socialist government in 1973, allowing Augusto Pinochet to become a dictator. ASIS now liaises with over 170 different in foreign intelligence services in almost 70 countries. Number 6, Federal Security Service, FSB, Russia. 
After the Soviet Union's infamous KGB came Russia's short-lived FSK, until it was reorganized into the ominous Federal Security Service in 1995. The FSB focuses on counterintelligence, security, and surveillance. In 1998, Vladimir Putin was director of the FSB. When he became president, he began reforming the group, giving himself more power over them. The FSB conducts assassinations and cyber espionage programs, working to undermine democracy around the world. One former officer and critic, Alexander Litvinenko, was eventually fatally poisoned in exile in England, which most assume was perpetrated by the FSB. I brought photos, audio and video recordings, which confirms that the majority of the Russian army is against some of the policies of the current leaders. Number 5. Ministry of State Security, MSS, China In China, there are few protections limiting how much information the government can collect about its 1.4 billion citizens. China's Ministry of State Security was formed in 1983 and focuses on intelligence, secret police, and security domestically, as well as foreign intelligence gathering. The MSS often uses other governmental agencies to conduct operations. In Xinjiang, China's experiment with surveillance isn't just about fighting terrorism. It's also about Xi Jinping's ambitions. One of their biggest initiatives is cyber espionage and sabotage. The MSS heavily monitors their own citizens, and they've also been linked to operations in other countries. In recent years, the ultra-secretive MSS began to make its public persona more prominent by creating social media accounts, promotional videos, and even a comic book. The U.S.-China relationship in many ways is significantly more complex than the U.S.-Soviet or U.S.-Russian relationship. Number 4. Research and Analysis Wing, RA, India In 1962, the Sino-Indian War took place and the Indian military slammed the foreign intelligence provided by their intelligence bureau. In 1968, this led to the creation of the Research and Analysis Wing. However, due to RA only answering to the Prime Minister, there were fears the group could overstep and become like the KGB. One of RA's main foreign targets has been Pakistan. The group has undertaken many covert missions in this regard. After the 2008 Mumbai attacks, RA reportedly began stepping up its role in international espionage. In 2023, Hardeep Singh Najur, a Canadian Sikh separatist leader, was assassinated in Canada. And there are serious and credible allegations from Canada and the US that RA was responsible. Over a period of time, there has been a greater public support for use of force against terrorists, or what India calls. Number three, Secret Intelligence Service, MI6, United Kingdom. W7, you are ready for this? Yes, ma'am. Made famous by the character of James Bond, the Secret Intelligence Service has existed since 1909. During World War II, the name Military Intelligence Section 6 was used, birthing the MI6 moniker it's known today. My career energized me, so I found it sobering to see the threats that were arrayed against us but I find it absolutely inspirational to see the work that goes on to deal with them. The UK group specializes in foreign covert operations and intelligence gathering, which was vital during the World Wars. But the organization has been embarrassed from within. Several MI6 agents, known as the Cambridge Five, were found to be spies for the Soviet Union. The Security Service, also known as MI5, is the branch that tackles intelligence within the UK borders. The MI5 team called in a special forces unit. Two Range Rovers slammed into the suspect's car. Number two, Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, Mossad, Israel. If you're at war with another people and you've got complete surveillance, that sounds like quite a, an advantage. Formed in 1949, Israel's Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, better known as Mossad, focuses on intelligence gathering and covert operations. With the director only answering to the prime minister, Mossad has high status and prominence in Israel. They noted his every move giving us a glimpse into the life of a Mossad operative. Famously, Mossad was involved in finding and capturing Adolf Eichmann in Argentina in 1960, a leading figure in Germany's atrocities in World War II. The Mossad also organized assassinations around the world as revenge for the terrorist attacks at the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich, as dramatized in Steven Spielberg's Munich. When he gets into bed, I give the signal by switching off the light. And if the bomb's too powerful and you're in the next room? Well, that won't happen. The situation in the Middle East in 2024 means the Mossad is never far from the headlines. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Canadian Security Intelligence Service, CSIS, Canada. Formed in 1984, the CSIS gathers international information and conducts covert operations. An investigation can be complex. Information may not be readily apparent. 
National Security Agency, NSA, USA. Created in 1952, the NSA specializes in global and domestic monitoring of information. Hostile foreign nations try to gather information about official U.S. plans, policies, and capabilities by exploiting our communications, information systems, and networks around the clock. General Intelligence Presidency, GIP, Saudi Arabia. Established in 1955, the GIP operates both domestically and internationally. There was this growth of, of extremist opinion in Saudi Arabia. So, uh, yes, we definitely. And, and we ruled the day afterwards when we were, became even more of the targets of these people inside the kingdom. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, USA. For now, just uh, keep an eye on everyone, see what they do. Yes, sir. And we'll interface with the FBI on this uh, dead body. No, no, God, no. We don't want those idiots bumbling around in this. After the Office of Strategic Services was dissolved after World War II, the U.S. wanted a group that specialized in foreign intelligence gathering and covert operations as tensions with the USSR grew. So in 1947, the CIA was formed. With the FBI domestically focused, the CIA quickly began conducting missions abroad. The group has been linked to coups in many countries, including Iran and Chile. We collect and analyze foreign intelligence, conduct covert action, and develop innovative technology. The CIA famously tried to involve themselves with Cuba with the failed Bay of Pigs invasion and numerous attempts to assassinate Fidel Castro. The CIA was also behind the controversial and illegal Project MK Ultra, a human experimentation program designed to research interrogation tactics. Not being able to share often some of your successes with the people you most love and respect, that's a sacrifice. Which intelligence agency do you think is the most powerful? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.